Good morning, everybody on YouTube land. Well, we're near the lake and we're looking at some poplar trees. Poplars are also known as cottonwood trees. And do you know that if you cut little pieces off of them, you can put them in some soil and you can root them and make more poplar trees. So that's what we're going to do today. So there's this huge one right here by the lake. We're going to break off just a few pieces and we're going to put some water and some um, paper and a plastic bag. Take them on home and root those cuttings. Here's the Kleenex in a plastic baggie. I put a little water in there. I'll just keep them moist while I'm taking them home. Okay, I'm going to count seven buds and then I'm going to clip it off. Now I'm going to take off the three leaves at the bottom because when I stick them in the dirt, I'm going to put three buds into the dirt and I don't want the leaves just sticking out. Okay, this is what I've got and into the baggie of water it goes. I'm not far from home, so I think they'll do just fine. Okay, I took each one of them down to just one leaf and putting them in here to soak overnight so they'll be nice and plump and we'll plant them tomorrow in some potting soil Okay, I took all the leaves off of these stems and I have three buckets hooked together here with rope and zip ties. I put potting soil in it and I'm watering it really well. Dripping down to some plants I have planted here in the dirt. I don't want to waste any water here in the desert. I got inspired to buy an organic potato, cut it up, plant it here in the dirt. So I have this little bit of wire around the edge. Next, I'm taking a big old plastic bag and I'll cut it off about right here and make a little tent like I did for the junipers. Now I'll push them in so there'll be three buds under the soil. One, two, three. Okay, I'll water them one more time. Spray them with a the sprayer. And put the plastic tent over it. I've cut some little holes here so it can get some air. And I'll mist them every day and see if those cuttings will root. Okay, here is my inspiration. This is a poplar tree and it's growing right on the side of this dry hill. It doesn't get any water and it's growing great. It's losing its leaves right now, of course, because it's fall. Let me get closer. See how cute and little the leaves are compared to the cuttings that I got? But anyway, so this is what's inspired me. Thank you for joining me today. And I want you to know Jesus loves you. He's the exact image of the invisible God. Give thanks to the Lord for he's good. And his mercy endures forever. 
I'll see you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, ring the bell. Mwah. Adios.